and welcome to a tutorial on how to drop the lowest score in a set of grades. Today we're going to look at dropping the lowest score of a set of six discussions. And you can see I've got my discussion topics created in the discussions tab and they've been graded already. So to drop the lowest grade, the first thing I want to do is be in the teach tab and then I'm going to go into the gradebook. You can see I've scored the, the discussions and for the sake of doing easy math in our heads to verify that the formula is going to work, I've given all but one of the scores tens and the lowest score that we're going to drop will be the five. So we'll be able to tell really easily whether or not the formula worked. The first step for dropping the lowest score in a set of scores is to create a column in the gradebook into which the score is going to be recorded. So we're going to go up to create column and we want it to be a calculated column because we need to use a formula for dropping the lowest score. So I'm going to select calculated. I'm going to give it a, a label so I'm going to just call it discussions, oops, spell it right, would be good. Discussions final grade. And I can set the alignment. I'm just going to leave it at left and two decimals. And I'm going to set the maximum value at 100. You can set this column to appear in the grades tab and be released to students. However, since we're going to use this column mostly as a calculator, it might be best to uncheck grade related column and uncheck released to student. Later on, I'll explain how to not release the grade to student if you do decide to go ahead and leave these two items checked. And I'm going to click Save. Now at this point, all that is done has, is created a column in the gradebook, which is this one right here, Discussions Final Grade. You can see from the little pop-up, this is the one I want. So now I need to actually go into this column's properties using the action link menu and I want to edit the column formula. This is where we're going to add the formula that will calculate the score by dropping the lowest grade. So I'm going to click that and then we get to the formula screen. So the overall formula what we need to do is add up all the scores, drop the lowest score, and then determine the percentage grade out of the total points possible. So the first thing I want to do is determine the order of operations. We need to throw in some parentheses so that certain things are calculated first. So we're going to end up doing two sets of parentheses because we're going to add everything together and drop the lowest score and then we're going to have to divide that number by the total number of points. So we've got a little order of operations going. I'm going to use the sum function. That's going to add up the, all the scores. So there's sum. And I'm going to click on the first item I want to add. So there's discussion one. Then I'm just going to go over here and use the plus sign. Add discussion two. Discussion three. Discussion four, and so on until I've added all of the items in the set. This is going to be including the score that we're eventually going to drop. So I've done that, and now when I've added all of the items, I want to hit the end function button over here. Now I'm going to subtract by selecting the minus sign, and the, the function, or the, uh, the formula, screen here has a handy little function called min, which means it is going to determine the smallest value in a set of values. We don't have to figure it out on our own. So I'm going to select min, and you'll see with this little bracket that it's opened a function, and now I'm going to put all of the items in the set in the min function so that it can look at them and determine which is the lowest one. So. In this case though, instead of using the add symbol, because we're not adding the items, we're merely listing them so that the function can examine each one to determine the smallest one, we're going to click on the first one, then we're going to enter another value. 
So it puts a comma there, you'll see. So I'm going to enter discussion 2, enter another value, discussion 3, enter another value, 4, and so on, so that I get all of them in there. Then I'm going to end the function again, and I'm going to put a closing parentheses which matches up with this that we put up here. So we're going to do all that first, add up the total, subtract the lowest one, and now we're going to divide by the total number of points possible to get the final percentage grade. Now I have six discussion posts, but and they're all worth 10 points, but since we're dropping the lowest grade, there's really only a maximum of 50 points possible. So we're going to be dividing by 50. You have to use the buttons in the program. You can't use your number key on your keyboard. So I'm going to divide by 50. And then I'm going to close that parentheses. And at this point, if you leave it like this, you'll get a number like 1, or if they don't get 100% on everything, you'll get something like 0.8 or 0.9. And so if you want to convert that into an actual percentage, like 99% or 88%, we're going to multiply this final value by 100. Come on, little zero. There we go. And so now we've done the formula for dropping the lowest score and determining a percentage score. So I've entered it all in there. You'll notice I did put a second parentheses right there because that's going to close the first one that I entered up here. I'm going to go down and save this. And when we see back in our grade book, it is calculated 100% as the final grade, which is accurate because we've dropped the 5 and they got 100% on all the other discussions. So that is how you drop the lowest grade in a set of scores. Now let's say you don't want to display a percentage in the student's gradebook. Let's just say you want to display in their gradebook a letter grade. Well, the first thing we need to do is make sure that the discussion's final grade column is not visible to the students or it's not released to their gradebook. So we're going to go up into gradebook options and we're going to look at the column settings. Within the column settings, you'll see that there's a row titled Released to Student. And so far, we've kept all of the actual individual discussions released. But if we scroll over, and we don't want to release this final grade as a numerical percentage, we're going to click where it says Yes, and now it'll say No, which means it will not be released to the student's gradebook. All right but now we want to be able to release to the student a letter grade so let's do that we're going to click up here to go back to the main part of the gradebook and again the first step is to create a column in which the letter grade will be displayed so we're going to create a column this time it's going to be a letter grade column that's pretty easy to remember and I'm going to label it discussions final letter just so that I know it's the letter grade. It is a grade related column so it'll appear in the grades tab and we are going to release it to the student. Now here where it says based on numeric calculated column this is where we tell it what column to look at to display the letter grade. For example we're going to tell it to look at the discussions final grade column and based on the number that's in there it will calculate the letter grade. So we're going to click that and then save. So there we have it. Demo student has earned an A plus and if we go into student view You can see that they've got grades for each of the six discussions, but they do not have the discussion final grade. They merely have the discussion's final letter grade, which is the A+. And there you have it. That's how you drop the lowest grade in a set of scores 
and how you can display it to the student's gradebook as a letter grade only.